So Mercedes Sprinter W906, the um, OM651 engine. Got um, engine light on intermittently, higher boost, uh, higher load, with a fault code of P2263, which is a boost pressure deviation. So I've took the air filter off, the top cover, and the uh, heater intake to get some room. And this here is the uh, vacuum canister. This pipe runs off onto the brake servo vacuum pipe. So I'll put a Mitivac gauge on one of these onto that pipe. And as you pump it up, that pulls pressure in. And what I've done, ended up clamping off the hose that runs to the big turbo solenoid, which is down here, and runs around the back of the engine and over to the wastegate actuator. And with that hose clamped off, it's holding pressure. But if I release that hose, see the pressure's dropping. So there's a leak in that side of the system, which runs down to this pipe, into that solenoid, then off to the turbo. There's also one for the EGR and the small turbo, but it's just the big turbo that seems to be the problem. So now what I've done is clamp off the vent side of this solenoid, it's an electric solenoid. So this pipe here vents to a filter down here, shared with the low side turbo. But with that pipe clamped off, reapply the vacuum and it's holding. That tells me that that solenoid is leaking because the pipe work from this all the way down into the solenoid is obviously holding pressure but it will be bleeding the pressure out through the vent line when it should not do that. So this is the wastegate actuator solenoid. One electrical plug, three pipes, one vents the atmosphere, and then this is the uh, vacuum input, and that is the vacuum output. Um, as it sits at the minute, the vacuum is sucking through this pipe and it's also letting it straight through. So just to double check, I've also put the vacuum pump onto the pipe that runs over to this wastegate. And as I pump that, you'll see the wastegate moves and it holds pressure so we know this um, actuator is good, we know the pipe running behind the engine is good. And thus this solenoid needs replacing. But now I've got a new one, there's the part number. Triple O one five three one seven double O. So I'll just fit that and show you it working. Right, so this smaller pipe is the input, the vacuum source. The middle one is the output to the turbo. And this third one is the vent tube. And there's also the connector. That slots down there. And the bolt 
top and bottom. Tighten them up in a minute. If I pump this vacuum, MITI that, so it holds pressure, holds a vacuum like it should. And that's exactly what it should do. So now I'll put, uh, put the uh, heater intake back on. The engine cover and the air box and um, clear the faults and go for a drive so built back up new turbo solenoid which controls this wastegate on the large turbo to this iCar soft fault code reader which is a Mercedes specific There we go. Faults cleared. So I'll take it for a run and uh, see what happens. Road tested all good. So that was the large turbo actuator solenoid. It was stuck open and vent in the vacuum uh, to the atmosphere, causing a P2263 fault, was it? Boost deviation.